Think of the environment as being like a spider's web. The web connects air, water, land, plants, and animals to each other. All these things don't just coexist. They interact. Man's actions have a significant impact on the environment, and therefore we must consider our connections in order to act responsibly. In this unit, we will discuss ecology, the nature of the relationships between living things and their environment. The environment is constantly changing. Changes in the environment detected by organisms are called stimuli. Light, temperature, water, gravity, and chemicals in the atmosphere are all examples of environmental stimuli. Environmental conditions specify the characteristics of the type of life that will be most successful or thrive within it. To survive, organisms must be aware of any changes and be able to adapt. Some changes are insignificant, but others can be deadly. The Earth's climate has changed drastically many times during the planet's 4.5 billion year history. Fossil remains found in rocks or ice of plants and animals help us to recreate scenes from millions of years ago. The atmosphere during the Paleozoic era contained very little oxygen. It was a very different world, a world without people or the kinds of plants and animals that thrive in today's climate. About 200 million years ago, photosynthesis became common. The large concentrations of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere begin to be used up during the production of plants. Consequently, the Earth's climate became cooler and tolerable for a variety of plant and animal life. Organisms live in an environment because it contains everything they need to live and grow. Each organism has adaptations that help it survive. When habitats change, organisms that live there are affected. Some of the organisms can adjust, but others cannot. Significant changes in the atmosphere that occur quickly result in devastating effects when plants and animals don't have time to adapt to the changes. That may have been what happened to the dinosaurs. What is a greenhouse effect? Many chemical compounds found in the Earth's atmosphere act as greenhouse gases. When sunlight strikes the Earth's surface, some of it is reflected back towards space as infrared radiation, or heat. Greenhouse gases absorb this infrared radiation and trap the heat in the atmosphere. This is known as the greenhouse effect. By the way, greenhouses are useful for growing plants because they both allow sunlight to enter and the glass panes surrounding it prevent heat from escaping it, making it a good environment for plants to thrive. This example of the greenhouse effect shows how the sun's energy passes through the windshield of this car and is trapped on the inside as heat. This is similar to what's happening on the Earth's atmosphere or in the Earth's atmosphere as carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are absorbing the sun's radiation and holding it or trapping it in the atmosphere. Throughout the history of the Earth, periods of climate warming have been attributed to an increase of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. 
If human activities are contributing to an increase in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases, then changing our actions can contribute to a decrease in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This type of change in environmental conditions will change the habitats of many plants and animals, ultimately resulting in extinction for many. Keep in mind that human beings are not just sharing space with plants, animals, water, and air. We're actually exchanging chemicals by eating, drinking, and breathing. The human body depends on nutrients, chemical compounds, that we receive from the air, plants, animals, and water to nourish our bodies. The human population is growing quickly. We need more and more land to live and to grow food. When habitats are turned into towns and farmlands, the homes of many plants and animals are simply destroyed. In short, because of human needs, many animals are in danger of becoming extinct. A habitat contains hundreds of food chains that combine in a network called a food web. Sadly, organisms that depend on a single food source will starve if that food source disappears. The burning of fossil fuels such as coal and oil, as well as deforestation, have caused the concentration of greenhouse gases to increase significantly in our atmosphere, contributing to global warming. Approximately 40% of all carbon dioxide emissions are released by power plants burning coal, oil, and natural gas to provide for human needs and desires. More than any other species on Earth, humans change the environment. It's important that we consider the impact of our actions on more than just ourselves. In the future, we have to reduce our reliance on burning fossil fuels for energy in order to reduce the current level of carbon dioxide emissions. Humans have the power to change the environment, both positively and negatively. It's important for us to understand how to use our power wisely. We must always respect the environment as a whole and consider the, imp the impact of all our choices. Hopefully this review of basic ecology has made you more conscious of how, your, how you interact with your environment and the impact of your daily choices on the air, water, plants, and animals.